then they fund the Outdoor Marijuana Investigation and Spotter School. They were out all day today trying to find and destroy outdoor marijuana plants. It's all part of the Domestic Marijuana Eradication Program, or DME. This is the Outdoor Investigation and Spotter School. We are teaching some of the students how to spot marijuana from the air because it's very distinctive from the air. It's a different type of green. The helicopters are also telling ground teams where to go out to cut the plants. Arrests are rarely made during eradication because smaller counties don't have the manpower for 24-hour surveillance that's needed to tie the plants to growers. I'm just going to leave my business card. Call me if you need any information. The Washington County Sheriff's Department is hosting the school. <laughs> Sheriff Bobby Haddock says marijuana used to be more common in the area. Now that we're seeing the rival of meth, a lot of your growers has got swapped from the growing aspect to the meth, meth aspect because it's a lot more work to grow marijuana than it is to make methamphetamine. Now this is a bundle of 17 plants and they say on the street you can get about $1,000 per plant. So far today they've gotten about 230 so you do the math. That's almost a quarter of a million dollars and a lot of growing hours. If a person would put that much effort towards a real job, uh, they, they could do a lot of great things in the community. Anything they missed could get picked up during next year's school. And as part of the program, Washington County will be reimbursed for the eradication efforts. They will carefully number each plan to determine how much money that will be.